Good morning. Today is March 23, 2020. Our subject is electronic equipment maintenance and repair. And I am Teacher Red. Today I'm going to teach you how to trace the actual circuit of a switch mode power supply. First, let me identify some of the important components of a switch mode power supply. So, from here, from this board, this is the power supply section. So, you will find here some of the important components like a switch. And then you have here fuse, filter capacitor, and then you have here bridge diode. So, there are four diodes here. So, by the way, the bridge diode converts alternating current into a direct current. Then, on this portion, you have here the regulator, irregulator IC. Then, you have a switch mode power transformer. So, this is the primary and this is the secondary side. So, the purpose of this transformer is to convert high voltage pulses into a lower voltage pulses. From here, it receives pulses of around 40 to 50,000 hertz. And then on the secondary side, you can see here four diodes. So by the way, this diode is a switching diode or a scatky diode. So it converts pulses, square wave pulses, which is easy into a direct current. So this direct current now is connected or supplied to the different circuits on the board such as the vertical section, horizontal, tuner, CPU, sound, and other circuit. My objective here is to trace the circuit starting from the input up to the bridge diode AC input, then from the bridge diode output to the primary input of switch mode power transformer and from the secondary output of a switch mode power transformer and finally to the different DC output of a switch mode power supply. So let's start with line 1. So let, let's say this is your line 1 and this is our line 2. So this is connected by a AC power cord through a switch. So as you can see here, there are two wires. So color blue and brown. Then on the other terminal of the switch, you have here white wire and the red wire. So it connects the switch to a connector on the board, which is XS501. So let's try to look at the back of the board. So you see here, I printed circuit board. So you see here the pattern or design. So this pattern connects the different components in the circuit. So let's start from here. So it is connected through this white wire. So from here, the current will flow through this pattern. So by the way, this is a copper. So this is a conductor. So therefore, current will flow through this pattern. Then it is connected through this component. It is L501 or inductor. And then following this line. So our objective is to follow the line up to the AC input of the bridge diode. So by the way, this is the bridge diode. Again, the input of the bridge diode is AC connected to 
one anode and one cathode. And in this case, as you can see here, it is connected to diode 503 and diode 504, anode of 503, and cathode of 504. So now, we're able to trace from this line up to the AC input of the bridge diode. So, let's trace line 2. From here, so this is the red wire. Okay, so you can see here, so it's connected through this red wire. So through this connector, so let's follow the pattern. So this pattern is connected through this terminal, which is fuse. And then from here, it is again connected through this L501 or inductor. And as you can see here, there are no other patterns. So this pattern now is connected to the bridge diode, which is the AC input. Again, one anode and one cathode. So anode of diode 506 and cathode of 505. Now, in here, you will see another line here. So you will be confused which line to follow. So remember, you can trace backward and look for the terminals of one anode and one cathode connected together and then you can trace backward so this way so you will not be no so don't forget that so remember the AC input of a bridge diode is connected to one anode one cathode so now we're able to trace line one and line two from input up to the AC input of the bridge diode. So let's try to trace the positive output of a bridge diode. So again, remember that the positive output of a bridge diode is connected to two cathode. So as you can see here from this bridge diode, the two cathode is here. So, meaning this is the positive output or positive current output of the bridge diode. So, look for these two terminals. Then, follow this pattern. It is connected through this component, L502. And then, you see here, a jumper wire. And then, another jumper wire. And finally, to the positive terminal of the filter capacitor okay so now let's trace the negative output of the bridge diode so as you can see here so by the way the negative output of a bridge diode is connected at both anode so in here it is connected to anode of diode 505 and diode 5 Zero 04. So trace this pattern. It is connected through this component, which is L502, and finally to the negative terminal of the capacitor. So now we're able to trace from line 1 and line 2 up to the Terminals, positive and negative terminals of the filter capacitor. So, in my next video, we will trace from primary of the switch mode power transformer and to the secondary output of the switch mode power transformer and to the different circuits on the board. I hope you understand and try to analyze. Good day and thank you very much.